Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be creating a MailChimp welcome email automation. Stay tuned, it's coming up next. So why should you send a welcome email? Well, it's the first impression your customers, clients, and subscribers receive from you. You can set expectations and set the tone, and based on that information that you supply to them, may impact whether or not they continue their email relationship with you or buy things from you. So it's very important to set expectations, have a good first impression, and that's what we're gonna to do today in this welcome email. I'm over here in my testing audience dashboard, and there are two ways to set an automated welcome email. The first way I don't prefer, the second way I do, but I'll show you both. The first way is to go into Manage Audience from here and click on Settings. Then click on either from the drop down here, Audience Name and Defaults, or down here, Audience Name and Defaults, and scroll down a little bit and it says Send a Final Welcome Email. So when people opt in to your audience list, you'll be sending them a welcome email. So let's Check that off, scroll down here and click on save audience campaign and defaults. Okay. The next thing you have to do, and this is another reason why I don't do this because it's a little bit more complicated. You got to go into sign up forms, select the form builder, select from the forms and response emails list, and then click on final welcome email and see we've already got a check that says send final welcome email. So you could do it here as well. What you get is this as a default. If you click on design it, you can change the background color, you can change the header, and in the outer wrapper, if we click inside here, we can use an image. So we'll click on there. So we can select an image here, preferably your uh, logo. And if we mouse over the subscription to our list has been confirmed, we can edit that information. And again, we can add in images, we can add in links, we can add in our content, set expectations, all that good stuff. But it, this rest of the stuff here is kind of bland. You cannot edit this. This comes default with your list. Uh, it's not very fun, not very inviting. So what I prefer to do, let's just uncheck that. What I prefer to do is go over to classic automations. And to do that, we go over to the automations tab. Now you could also do this in journeys, but with journeys, you need to have a paid account. You can start a journey with a free account, but you cannot go any further in the journey creation unless you upgrade. So let's go into classic automations. And here's where I like to start. Welcome new subscribers. We can call this welcome to the book club. We'll select our test audience and click begin. Now it's like sending out a regular campaign email. We have a sends to, we have a from, we have a subject line and the content of the email. And we click on edit delay and recipients. We could say, well, we don't want to send it immediately. We could send in one hour, six hours, one day. And you can also do this when you import subscribers. You can import subscribers via CSV, or you can do one-offs, that type of thing. If you want more help on importing contacts, I did do a video. You can click on it right there in the right-hand corner. But for now, we'll just keep it sent immediately, and we'll click the trigger when you import subscribe contacts. Then we'll click Save. From name is my email address. You can edit the from if I'd like to. I can change the address, but we'll keep it the way it is right now. The subject, probably want to change that to welcome to the SMS book club. And we'll add in a little book emoji. The preview text, so happy to have you as a member. Okay, then we click on save. And now we click edit the design. I like to go with the basic. Right, so let's uh, just narrow that down a little bit. We'll copy in some text, just copy that, minimize that, 
paste it in here. And for the link to calendar, just for an example, we'll just take them to my website. Okay, and click on insert. Okay, everything looks great there. I think we're missing an image though. And so what I'm gonna do is go over to Canva and I've created this, actually I didn't create it, I just took it from one of the uh, templates that Canva has. It's called Welcome to Our Book Club. That all looks good right there. And one of the neat things that you can do with Canva is integrate it with MailChimp. So anything that you create in Canva, you can copy it over to MailChimp. So let's go do that now. So we'll click here. How would you like to publish? Well, I'm gonna publish to MailChimp. And we'll click on that. And I'll say, save your designs to your files. Click save. And we're all done with that. We'll go back to our automation here. We'll click on save and close on that. And then we'll go over to image. We'll drag in an image block. And then we'll go in to upload an image. And here's our welcome to the book club. How easy is that, right? So we'll click on insert. There's our image. I think the size is fine. I made it 600 by 400, which is kind of the standard size for MailChimp. We can link up all the social things. We'll just take that out for now. Other things you can do, you can style the page if you'd like. You want to make it a little darker color, maybe something like that, and click on save. So it gives it a little bit more color. Uh, same with the footer. You can change that to a different color if you'd like. I don't know, maybe something of a yellowish, greenish, bluish. There you go. Some type of teal color. And one of the things you'll have to do is also change the color of the footer text. We'll make that white so people can see it. And the link, uh, let's make that yellow. Now let's make that the same color like that. Okay. So we'll click on save. So now we have our fabulous welcome email. We have our content on there and everything looks great. So we'll just click on save and continue. So let's review our welcome to the book club automation here. We've got our green check marks, all, all good here. So we've got our sends to, we've got our from, we've got our subject, we have our content. Uh, some of the check marks down here have to do with my paid plan, but obviously if you don't have a paid plan, you won't see that, or maybe you'll have to have the MailChimp branding in there. All good. We could either finish later, but I want to start sending it now. We're going to click on start now. And we'll go back to our workflows. So here's our welcome to the book club. So let's test this out. We did check off import contacts, but let's go to add a subscriber. All right, I'm gonna add myself manually here to check out the automation. And we'll click on subscribe. And here is our email. Since we just subscribed, we did receive our welcome automation email. This is what it looks like at least on the desktop. We have all our information here. Welcome to the, our book club. All looks great. So there you go. That was a fun way to take a look at how to set up a MailChimp welcome email automation. If you have any questions about this process, post them in the comments below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll do my best to answer them. If you are new here and you like this type of content, make sure you click on the subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get notified when a new video goes up on the channel. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.